Hey, Bruce Naylor here, and today we're talking about the Manfrotto Pixie Evo. I love cool gadgets, especially when it comes to working with video and cameras. And I first learned about the, the Manfrotto Pixie from another YouTuber called David DeFranco. Shout out to David DeFranco. So when I went to order one, I happened to notice that there was a more expensive model called the Evo, the Manfr Manfrotto Pixie Evo. And this is a little bit different. It costs a little bit more money, but I gotta tell you what, uh, I think it's such a cool little gadget. I just had to share it with you. So in essence, this is a mini tripod. And you can do a couple things with this thing. One, you can use it as a selfie stick. Number two, you can use it as obviously as a tripod. You can use it on your desk. You can use it for vlogging. It's got a million and one different uses for it. There's a few features that makes this thing a little bit unique. First off, I love Manfrotto stuff. I love their gear. I have a, a full-size Manfrotto tripod. I have a, a, a Joby Gorillapod that this Canon 70D is sitting on right now. But this is a really cool little device. So I just wanted to share it with you. So let's talk a little bit about it. Um, my particular use case for it is this, actually to take my AX53 out and about and handhold it, or maybe sit down and do some type of interviews or you know, record videos, I'm not really a vlogger, right? No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm so, so is a vlogger. But let's talk about what some of the things that make this a little bit unique. First off, uh, setting it up is a breeze. Essentially, all you gotta do, just pull the legs out and off you go. Now here's the thing, see, just like that, and they open up and you just, you know, you set it down. But there's a button right here on each leg that allows you to adjust the height by five different positions. Just pull it out, push the button, pull it out, push the button, pull it out. Nice. But there's even more to it. So when you set it down, of course, then you got some nice height on there. You have a ball head. Ball heads are really important because no matter how awkward the tripod is, you know, if it's not level, you just turn a knob and then you can go ahead and level it without having to fuss around getting the tripod level. So that's really, really cool. I like that feature a lot. Another feature is, I don't know if you can see this in the camera or not, but there's a little groove down here that allows the ball head to go full 90 degrees. So you can have your camera, see, doing this. So you can set the low to the ground and capture some of those great action shots with it. The, uh, the legs are aluminum, and also the ball head itself appears to be aluminum. But there's another trick to this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back into position. One more thing that it can do. You can actually set it to be like a, a ground hugging. That's right, that's what I said, ground, is that a word? Is that a thing? a ground hugging tripod with a flick of a switch here on the ball right here see if we can uh, kind of just set the focus right there can you see that now there we go see this little switch right here flip that switch and now the legs go out much much further see that how they spread out a whole lot further that means it can get down much closer to the ground then of course you can still pull these out so why this over, say, the, pick, the, uh, the $25 version? Well, first off, this can support up to 5.5 pounds. So this is going to be able to handle your bigger DSLR. Now, I know David, I think, is using the, uh, the regular uh, Pixie with his uh, 80D. Uh, it would probably, regular Pixie, I don't know. I don't have any experience with it. But I know that this can easily support my Canon 70D with the 18 to 135 millimeter lens. My goal for me is to use it with my DSLR. Now I ha actually have another, uh, you don't have it sitting here, but um, it's a little bit kind of heavy. But this is so easy to set up. You see how you have this screw on there and you've got this little thumb? I'm gonna go ahead and I'll see if I can't focus in on that. This little thumb right there, that's how you tighten it to your uh, camera. So I'll go ahead, I'm gonna take my AX53, 
And all you have to do is just kind of get it on there a little bit. Get it started. I mean, it's, this is how I do it. You just start tightening down the thumb screw on there, and then it just all tightens up. Like so. Now it's good and tight. And now I'm ready to go. Now I've got a nice vlogging setup right there. And because it's so nice and light, oh, we got to put this back into position. There we go. And now it's ready to go. So what I like about this is the versatility. It can stand up a little taller. Maybe you're going to, maybe you're going to, you know, put your webcam on this. Maybe you're going to use a mount for your phone with this. Whatever you're going to do, you've at least got some options. You can make it really low to the ground. You can make it a little bit higher. You can make it into a selfie stick. Do what I'm doing. Turn that camera into a vlogging rig if that's what you want. Put a DSLR on there. It's going to support up to 5.5 pounds. You've got that 90 degree angle on this thing. So I'm going <laughs> to... Hopefully I don't break my camera. I didn't. See that? And that's kind of, I mean, you would obviously be a lot more careful than I am, but you get the idea. That's how that works. And it will just flip back up. Available in red, white, and black. I got the black one. They're under 50 bucks. That's probably a little bit kind of expensive for some people. But man, Frodo builds good stuff. They just, their stuff just lasts and lasts. So very, very pleased with it. I have my Amazon affiliate links down below for both the US and the UK for the Manfrotto Pixie Evo. Hopefully you get an idea what this thing can do. It's, you know, it's just one of those gadgets that's very, very useful. I think if you get one, you're really going to be happy with it. It's just so useful for so many different situations. Not that much money for a quality product. Bruce Naylor, I'll talk to you later.